All right, what's going on, guys? As you can see, I'm starting to get a little more situated. And guess what? My drone worship shirts came in, man. Well, my one. I had one custom made to see what I thought, and he forgot to put the text up here. But I still like it. I'm going to rock it. We'll go through a couple other shirts. I'll see what I think. But uh, this one's actually pretty cool. I do like that they finally got the logo right, and everything kind of came through good, so that's awesome. But uh, I wanted to talk... To about this today because as everybody knows on my YouTube channel I've been kind of going through it with the Phantom 3 and it had this pulsating motor problem and we're going to talk about why that was today um, I had actually I went on the Facebook group to kind of give you a little background here I went on the Facebook group and um, for the DJI Standard 3 owners group and you know they I maybe came across two videos after the search link about people that were having this problem but I never really saw a fix to it so I kind of commented on the video, I said, hey guys, did you ever figure out a fix to the pulsating motor problem? If you guys want to know what I'm talking about to see if this fits the description of your bird, here's the footage. Oh, uh, it's very fidgety, huh? Come on, hold your altitude. Very jumpy. We need to figure out why it's being so jumpy. You guys see how jumpy it's being? Very jumpy. Okay, welcome back. So if your bird is doing that, I found the fix for me, and the reason that it was started doing it in the first place was these were the original props. Um, I bought this for a hundred bucks. It was a, I thought it was a bad deal at first, but uh, it came with these these DJI props that were very chewed up and uh, so I decided I would replace them and I found some cheap off-brand Chinese props um, on eBay for like $5.99 I think and I ordered them and I put them on here and you know we took this out for a couple flights and it just seemed very unstable you saw the footage you saw what it was acting like so it was pulsating it just couldn't figure out it sounded unstable it didn't know whether it wanted to be up or down in altitude it just seemed very confused so what we went ahead and did um, was I met with a buddy today and we had him bring his DJI props out, official DJI props, and we put those on my bird and it fixed the problem. Get this thing in the air. Guess what, guys? Those are DJI props. It fixed the problem. It's not jumping up and down anymore. Imagine that. That is crazy that that has that much impact. That is wild that, yeah, I got a drone for a hundred bucks that flies good. That is crazy. I cannot believe that the props actually impacted it that much. Right, that's nuts. Well, I can see, I'm gonna take this thing up here a bit. No more pulsating. The balanced blades actually corrected the problem for the IMU. So I'm making this video today for all of you that have this question because I searched and searched and searched on YouTube and nobody was able to answer the pulsating, uh, pulsating motor question, why it was doing it. So most of you will probably end up with this problem after a crash um, or you unbalance one of your props by whacking it or dinging it on something um, or you replace props with cheap off-brand crappy props and all of a sudden your bird starts to fly like complete and utter crap. That is basically the reason that I think everyone now that I have talked to about this problem that has had it, had prop problems. So if you just happen to throw on some new props that you thought were a good deal and your bird is pulsating and flying really weird like the barometer is confused and it can't figure out its altitude and the ESCs are going zoo, 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 like you saw in the video, well then most likely your problem's going to come back to props. Now don't get me wrong, go through everything. Go through the sequence. Calibrate the sticks, calibrate the IMU, do a compass calibration, check your firmware, make sure everything's up to date. You know, those are easy things you can do before you start buying props. You can do those things, try them first. If it works for you, perfect. If it doesn't, this would be your next logical step, I would say. Because um, a lot of my channel, like I said, knows what I was going through with this. I was a little frustrated with this bird at first, but uh, I did not find one single video about this yet for the pulsating motor problem, so I decided to make it. So, guys, if you're having pulsator, uh, pulsator, 
pulsating DJI motor problems and it just doesn't want to hold its altitude and it doesn't hover very well and it's just jumpy and twitchy and it's kind of all over the place, do your calibrations. If that doesn't fix your problem, buy actual DJI props. They are balanced from the factory. They're ready to go. They seem to just correct the problem right off the bat. And this, after a good amount of searching, was results from five different people that did this. They all in the end said that it was prop related. So there you go, guys. Like I said, I'm the first video, I guess, to be put out about this. I don't know why none of those guys made a video. Um, but for all of you having pulsating motor problems and altitude issues of it holding its course and it just seems very, very twitchy, I would check into your props. All right, guys. Drone worship and I'm out. Toodaroo.